the name of the game, y'all, especially nowadays, is if you're a man, dress like a man. If you're a woman, dress like a woman. And if you're anything in between, I can't help you. Well, how y'all doing? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a year in review on some of my jeans that I got. And also in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Wrangler versus Ariat or Ariat or however in the world you say that brand name. I call them Ariat or Ariat. I don't know. It confuses me every time I say it sometimes, but I got me a pair of jeans from them because I've been, I've been playing around with the idea of get, picking me up a pair of them. And I finally did, even though I've been a really big supporter in Wrangler clothing and things like that. And I learned that my mother deleted my jean video off of my YouTube channel. So I think I'm gonna repost that too. It's not her fault though. So it's been about a year um, since I did a jean video, which man, time flies by fast when you're having fun, doesn't it? That was a long time ago. So let's get into it. All right, so for the first pair of jeans, I got my 20X42 styles and I've been wearing these for almost a year now. Um, these are not the exact same jeans that I had on the original video. I actually switched up my uh, deal because I buy all of my jeans from Atwoods and I was buying them from Cavenders. I'm buying from Atwoods now all my jeans. They have really, really good prices because they buy a lot of their stuff in um, bulk. I just pray I don't get grease on these things. These ones have been holding up for not quite a year. I probably would say around eight months or so. That is with starching them. I've had really good success with starching my jeans. These ones have been starched and the only reason they actually have a little rip right here is because the chainsaw went through my safety pants and they nicked my jean and scratched my leg. So anyway, other than that, it's been holding up really good. Uh, on the original video, I'll link that. The 20X Style 42 Vintage Boot is the exact brand um, of it. And it has this really cool, big, real, not synthetic uh, leather. And I can show the, y'all these ones better. This is what the back pockets look like on them. They got side stitching on them. They have the front, if I look, show you here, they got inside here they got some more white stitching down the legs of them these these just got washed too so this is how light they get especially going through a full summer too of work um we're gonna do a little competition here for y'all it'll be kind of fun in the comments section down below comment down below how long do you think i went without washing these pair of jeans and whoever gets the closest to it or exactly on it, and whoever guesses right, I will pin your comment. So, a little fun competition for y'all. Y'all, I've really been loving these. So this is the light version, light wash or whatever, uh, light, not stain, but whatever. The lighter color of the 20X vintage um, 42s. The pair that I'm wearing right now are the same exact jeans, uh, 30, 32, and they are the dark wash. That's it, dark wash. Um, so I got the light wash, I guess you would call, and the dark wash. And these ones already had the knees done on them. This is what the back looks like. So um, I really love these jeans. Amazingly comfortable, not too much stretch. So then they feel like you're a uh, G-A-Y. I can't say that word on YouTube anymore. So then you don't feel like a G-A-Y um, boy. But yeah, I just really love how they fit. But I was at Atwoods, I was shopping around. I was looking at picking up another pair of dark wash jeans like this, the ones that I have on now. And I saw these. Ariat denim. Let me see, here we go. Ariat flexed boot cut M4. There you go. These are size 30, 34. And you might be saying, Matt, why in the world did you get two more extra inches? Well, it is very brisk outside. So I guess I'm gonna have to take off my pants for this and put these ones on. But I'll show y'all them real quick. But these ones are really, really nice. So I've had these ones for about one month now. So they haven't had the full Texas torture tests. These ones range around, uh, I paid $60 for these. Uh, 
$59 or so. Um, and I just really like how they look. They got a little extra fancy stitching on the side. Um, they got their area or they got the area or however, however you want to say it, uh, their brand name there, big old hefty, uh, button there, um, that they got the zipper here. I'll show you the zipper up close is very nice. It's very industrial, which I really like. I really love that. Also, this is just, I guess, something that you get when you pay a little bit of a more premium price, um, which I like. Nobody will see it except for the person that owns the pants. Um, is this, is you got some fancy pockets, which nobody can see except for you when you put them on. Just really nice attention to detail. They're made in Mexico. They call this a loop lock, at least that's what it says there, a little leather loop lock. All of this is pretty stank sure. That's some real leather there, pretty sure. I did wash these the last time. Uh, normally when you wash faux leather, it gets weird and nasty. And this just came out of the dryer and they looking very nice. Also, um, the seaming on them is very nice, very um, vintage. Vintage is in right now. Uh, wide seams, which I love. Also, y'all, whatever you do, they're set, they, it's been coming out a lot with these new jeans and stuff. I don't know if Duluth had it or not, but a lot of these new jeans have been having it. They have, right at the crotch area, they have like an extra patch there. Do not get them. Do not get them. I've bought a couple pair. I bought one or two pairs that had that in there. My dad tried to wear them. They just make you feel like a woman. Don't, don't ever buy those, period. End of story, don't ever buy those. If you are wearing one right now, I'm gonna be praying for you um, because they just make you feel very, very weird. It's just the weirdest, feel, the weirdest feeling in the world. I don't know why, but it's just weird. Um, it's just weird, I don't know. Pocket wise, really awesome, deep. I mean, you can see how huge the pockets are in here. I mean, really huge, deep pockets. Um, nice, deep, uh, I got a phone here, um, nice, deep pockets, uh, as you can see. Um, so let's see, that's about like an inch and a half of phone. And then if I put it on this one, there's about almost, probably two inches there, right? Almost. So almost the same depth. You got about an extra half an inch or so there. Um, let me see one. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we got five belt loops, five belt loops. I will show y'all this. The cut is different. The cut. I went into the changing room to feel these on because when you're gonna go put on 60, when you're gonna buy and spend a little bit of blood money for some jeans, you wanna know what they feel like. The downside about these, right? They have amazing fit, amazing all over, just great, right? But I have a very skinny waist um, and more, just a little bit thicker legs, right? The downside was, is I kind I need a overall thicker thigh, you know, because I just don't want them to be really, really tight on me, right? Because if you're a real man, you shouldn't have skinny pants. But then when you do that, then the waist gets bigger, you know? And uh, I can't wear, I really can't wear 32s. They'll literally fall off of me. I need 30s at least. Um, and it, then if you go 29, then it's too tight in the thighs and stuff like that. So anyway, these are the Relax Boot Cut M4. I'll link all this stuff down below. I guess I will say this one thing. That is a little bit of wear there too. Now this, I wore these things while clearing brush and everything. So I haven't yet done that to the Ariat's um, jeans. I haven't done that yet. I might sound like an idiot saying that, but um, the brand name Ariat. Ariat, Ariat's, I don't know, Ariat. So these are really good. These are really good. Um, they're really good, but if I had to choose, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on before I finish what I'm gonna say. I'll tell y'all what, keep your pants on when it's 30, when it's 30 degrees out, I'll tell you that right now. No drag shows when it's cold out, y'all. All right, so here you go. These are the Ariat pants here, as you can see. I'll turn around here, as you can see. That's what it looks like. And this is exactly what I wanted right here. The extra two inches curls around my boot really nice and it comes 
right on down to the edge of my boot. And when you sit down, like this, if I pull my knee up, it only comes up two or three inches. You got plenty of sitting room, try not to shake. Got plenty of sitting room, got plenty of standing room. When you are standing, it just looks awesome all the way down. Like, not saying the Wranglers were GAY at all compared to the Levi's. The Levi's were, the one, at least the ones that I tested were G-A-Y to the core. But I can show y'all a close up on these ones. I will say, uh, with the zipper on these ones, they are definitely, I've never, I did not have any malfunctions with them, with the zippers. They just don't have that industrial feel. They just have a normal Wrangler um, jean zipper feel. Also with these uh, vintage uh, pair, they got this like bull um, head on them and they got a big old button on them. And I would say, I would say they're pretty much about the same quality as the Ariat um, button pretty much. As you can see, this th these are the darker stained ones here, as you can see. So they got a light tan and a dark uh, brown color contrast there. Uh, we got some nice little branding right there. If somebody's gonna be like, which ones would you have? I would really want both. If I had to pick, which pair of jeans I had to live for the rest of my life, I would pick the Ariats. Um, the Ariat, yeah, the Ariats for right now. Um, but I am still testing them. I think they feel the best on me. Um, these feel very, very good. But I just really like the, I just like the look. I like the style on these ones. Um, they're about $10 more than these ones at, uh, Check out your um, Atwoods. They have really good prices on jeans. I think these ones were around $49 or so. Um, the one, uh, These Ariats were $60. They were $59. Now, if a pair of jeans can last you eight, nine months, and, you know, you can look good doing it, you know, there you go. I'm, I know I'm going to have some people on here that are going to be like, yo, Get yourself a pair of Duluths. I know. <laughs> I just watched Project Farms video and I'm gonna need to get me a pair of Duluths. Duluths, sorry. Bear with me, it's getting cold out here. So, but that is a little extra change. Um, you know, even more blood money. That's, uh, that's $75 for a pair of jeans, hi buddy. And uh, do you really wanna go <sighs> Clear land in $75 jeans. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Definitely starching your jeans. It seems very, very um, minor, but it's, I think it has definitely prolonged the life of my Wrangler jeans. Um, I will be starching my Ariat jeans also. You do not have to take them to a dry cleaner to get uh, starched. All you have to do is buy the starch in the can and you spray it on there or whatever and then you iron them on. Um, makes them really good. You can really get some, when you do starch them, you can get some really nice lines in your pants. The name of the game, y'all, especially nowadays, is if you're a man, dress like a man. If you're a woman, dress like a woman. And if you're anything in between, I can't help you. So. Uh, that's it, y'all. That's my that's my jean review for. Um, I guess this will be my last jean review for 2022. Man, has this year gone by fast, y'all? It's pretty uh, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these. Love these jeans. Love those jeans. Unlike the Wrangler and Levi's video, I cannot. I can't talk smack about my Wranglers, and I can't talk smack about my um, Ariats. I love them both. Um, I just love them, love them, love them, love them. The only downside, I will say this, you thought the video was over. I will say with the Ariats, having them two inches longer, when you walk around the house, you do have to curl up the bottoms of your pants, 
because you'll just wear them out because they're dragging on the ground a little bit. Um, when you have pants that are actually the right length for you and you didn't buy them extra long for a style or a look while you're wearing your cowboy boots. But anyway, also, also, I need to show you all this too. This is what, this is what the top down view looks like. I know it's a GoPro, so it's not going to look as good, but I got me a new pair of boots too. And tell me if y'all want to see a review video on these boots here. They are a pair of twisted X's. So this upper on the boot is about 13 inches. So you definitely need a big pant <laughs> leg to fit over it. So you can't have no uh, little skinny girl pants to uh, wear these boots. So it's kind of it's kind of nice. But anyway, y'all, hopefully y'all loved today's video. If you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do a little bit of everything around here, hence why I'm throwing up this video now. I have a video coming out either the end of this week or the beginning of next week on Monday. I have another cool clothing video coming out soon. I want to um, keep making these clothing videos because um, the world is getting crazy and there's I, I really don't think there's a whole lot of good, awesome, wholesome clothing reviews especially with western wear and things like that i mean the west there's a big um culture out there with the whole um cowboy style vintage style it's all coming back into fashion which i'm really happy with let the baggy clothing come back please dear lord i pray <laughs> oh my goodness there for a while y'all i thought uh people were going to be running running around butt skin naked that's coming soon to a town near me i guess oh my goodness but anyway y'all hope y'all will have a very blessed rest of your day if, if you want to support this channel go check out thetexasboys.com where we sell coffees teas locally grown organically sourced non-co2 emitting honeybees honey <laughs> uh, it's over there too you can buy it in bulk or buy it in little gift size packages for your friends and family or maybe just for you but anyway y'all also, we do have political shirts to like Biden, Fetterman, it's a no-brainer, for prison t-shirt. That was quite hilarious. Or go green compost to globalist. But thank y'all. Don't forget to comment down in the description down below. And like always, we will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.